welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the like because you're gonna like this video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about my three month post-op uh, VSG surgery. Um, I paused a little bit because it's not technically three months. It's a lot more than, not a lot more, but like if you count the days, but it's on the 20th, the 22nd, I had my surgery of February. 22nd of February. So I'm at the three month post-op mark. Um, I came in weighing at 270 and I am currently 220. Um, so I almost, I'm almost at 180, which was like my realistic goal, but it's been pretty easy to lose the weight. So I feel like I'm gonna get a lot smaller. Now my new goal is 150. My healthy weight would have been at 180 um, because I'm so tall. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to be talking about the pros, the cons, what has been happening to me and yeah, all that good stuff. So the main reason why I wanted to film this video is because I was showering the other day and I did this to my hair and a clump fell out and I was like, it's the three month mark. Most people start losing their hair three to eight months post op. Like literally on the day, dude. I gotta tell everybody. I gotta tell everybody who's thinking about doing this because this shit is real. Your hair falls out. Um, I'm not tripping too much because I already kinda knew my hair was gonna fall out. I have very thin hair already. This is a wig. Um, I haven't been wanting to do my hair just because I don't want to do anything to it Like I'm really thinning from here on the sides. I'll show you guys at the end of the video um, But it's pretty bad Not super bad, but like I said my hair was already thin my dad is bald and my mom has a receding hairline So I knew it was gonna happen, but thank God for wigs. We're okay. It's not a big deal. Like hair is hair is hair. Um, it's just scary seeing it fall out of your head because you know it's due to like lack of nutrition. I have been taking my vitamins daily, but I haven't been taking the vitamins that I should be. The vitamins that my doctor recommended me to have are from Bariatric Advantage, and it is the Ultra Solo. I opened up that vitamin bottle and god damn it smelled disgusting the worst smell i have ever smelled it was so nasty i couldn't like i couldn't do it um i worked myself up to attempting to swallow the pill the pill is gigantic i wish i had it with me so i could show you guys but it's huge i'm not over exaggerating um and unfortunately i've tried it twice and both times my body rejected the pill my body separated the pill and separated the food and it made me throw up just the pill which is crazy um so i do not take that pill because that's two times me throwing it up my body's saying no uh and it's for a reason so i'm not taking that pill i'm taking regular nature's bounty woman's health and i'm taking nature's bounty um, hair, skin, and nails, and then Nature's Bounty Calcium and B6. Everything's Nature's Bounty, I believe. Um, I am gonna be attempting to switch to different vitamins though because it's not working. I feel like I'm not getting the nutrients that I need. Um, it's also really hard for me to intake that much protein. Like, my protein goal is, I believe, 60 grams of protein a day. And I know for most people, it's like, oh, that's nothing. Like, you can have, I can do that, like, easy peasy. Yeah, but when your stomach is half the size, no, less than half the, more than half the size that it used to be, it's difficult to consume liquids alone still. I do find myself having some days to where I can eat a little bit more than usual. And then I have some days to where I'm like, oh, I can't even... Like, I'll be hungry, and I have two bites of it, and I'm full. Um, and I used to, like, watch people's videos before I had surgery, and they would say, oh, I took a bite of this, and I was full, and I took a bite of that, and I was full. And I was like, sure, like, you're going to get full off of a bite of macaroni or a bite of pizza. Ha, 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 ha. It's true. To this day, um, I 
can have like the only thing I have with carbs is like a taco in the morning um, and I try to stay away from carbs still because it's empty calories it's empty energy I feel poopy afterwards because it's not giving me any nutrients um, so you really do need to have that protein intake in order for you to feel full and feel like happy and healthy um, but just to give you guys an example of what I used to eat I used to be able to eat three breakfast tacos um, of anything it could have been brisket it could have been bean and cheese typically I get bean and cheese I could have three of those um, and feel satisfied and full now I can have a bite of a breakfast taco one bite and I'm done I'm done I feel super full I feel like bloated that's why I try to stay away from that stuff um, but if it's like all I have to eat I have to eat something and at that I try eating I know Nini Lily came to be in the video um, even if I do have a breakfast taco I try to eat just like the beans and the cheese and not the tortilla um, because it gets because I get full way too fast and I'm like why am I going to eat stuff that's going to be bad for my body instead of eating the good stuff um, so that is pretty cool I've noticed that about surgery um, since I've been post-op I've been craving vegetables and craving good foods for your body because I want to feel good um, you feel too shitty if you eat bad food like if you eat something that's um, full of carbs like bread or tortilla it's too much even beans is a little too heavy for me. I, I feel happiest and healthiest when I eat a salad. And I look back at my old self and I'm like, who is she eating salads? <laughs> it makes me sad just because that's like, how could I have like been putting all that poison in my body and thinking that it was delicious? Because now when I have like lettuce, I'm like, oh my God, this is good. Um, if I have like jalapeno or anything fresh and green, I think it's the most delicious thing and I appreciate that that's what we're, that's what we're supposed to be putting in our bodies um, because it makes you feel really good. Yeah. I've lost 50 pounds um, since the day of my operation and it's been three months. Um, I feel like... I'm going to talk to them. I feel like some people have lost more than that and I feel like some people have lost less. It's all on how your body reacts to it. I have not been working out like crazy amounts of workout. I have been um, doing cardio here at the house. I'll do like jump rope and stuff and I'll do a little bit of butt exercises because the first thing to go was my ass. I ain't got no ass anymore. Also my boobs have shrunk significantly. That was one of the first things, yeah, it did. That was one of the first things that I noticed to go. Um, I was, today I have on a bra that I haven't been able to wear since high school. Why I have that bra still, I have no idea, but it fits, which is really like awesome. Um, I had recently, in November for Black Friday, I had recently bought the biggest size bra that I've ever been. Um, and it was a 44G. A 44G, that is huge. That's huge. Tiggle bitties is what I had. And I still have them, which I'm glad because I didn't want them to completely go away. But I was just tired of carrying those things around, man. So um, that was the biggest bra size I've ever, ever had. I actually, I was working that day and I told my manager, I was like, hey, can I take a quick break? Because I have to go to Lane Bryant and go get a bra because I'm pouring out of it. Every time I bend over, my titties were coming out. And I was like, this is not okay. Like, I don't, they like grew overnight or something. So she was like, yeah, I totally understand it. Like, go do your thing. Um, so I went really quick and I tried to find a bra size was 44G. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I had no idea my boobs were that big. Recently, maybe uh, month two, the second month, I put on my bra and I was like, oh, it's not fitting. Like, I was frustrated, but I didn't realize that. I was like, oh my God, it's not fitting me. Like, that's good. I could fit a whole hand inside of my cup and like wiggle it. And I had that much room between my breasts and the cup of the bra. Um, and also the band itself was not fitting me anymore. Um, currently, I am a 38 triple D, I believe. Uh, 40, 38 triple. Um, what are you doing? So yeah, currently I am a 38 
triple D or a 40 triple D. Um, it kind of just varies on like the make, <laughs> the make and model of the bra. Um, but that was one of the main reasons why I got surgery was because they were just too big. And if you know me in real life, you've noticed. Also, another thing I noticed was that I recently put on a pair of size 18 jeans that were fitting me way too tight. Um, I was pouring out from the top and it was just bad. Like I, I didn't want to wear jeans because they were too tight, but I also didn't want to acknowledge that I was already a size 20. Um, possibly 22 because 20s would fit me just the way 18s would. So I don't even know how it fit into those 18s that I think about it. Um, but the point is I put on a, si a pair of uh, size 18 jeans and they fit me huge. I, I was like shook. Um, my calves are still very thick. I have very thick calves. I've always had cankles. Um, that's just the way my anatomy is. My my dad's legs are like that. My grandma's legs are like that. Thea's legs. Everybody has those legs. Um, but from the knee up to my waist, everything is shrunk. Um, I need a belt to like triple tie the thing all the way to the end so that my pants can stay up. Um, and also on the thigh area, I remember putting the pants on and like seeing it stretch all the way and like having those like wrinkles, like your pants are so tight that it's leaving like an indent into your fat so it's kind of like a reverse wrinkle in a way. So I put on the size 18 pants and that didn't happen. My pants were falling off of me and especially in the ass area, I was so sad. I was like, come on, man, this is gone. <laughs> um, but I will insert some progress pictures this is my before and after of recently. Um, I probably lost a little bit more. I think I lost 10 more pounds within this picture because in this picture I was 230, I believe. Um, and then the beginning picture was of course 270, 275. I was pushing 275. Um, but yeah, so, so far so good. Um, I can tolerate pretty much any food um, nothing has been too crazy. I can tolerate alcohol. I am going to be making a alcohol related video. Um, so stay tuned for that. And what else? My bathing suits are fitting better. Um, everything is fitting just better. I haven't had to buy anything new other than pants because pants do not fit me. I'm currently a size 16. I haven't been a size 16 since middle school. I, as far as I know, my adult adult life, like seriously, in high school and up, I've been a size 18 and 20. Um, I haven't been a size 16 since middle school. I can't believe I'm saying that. I still somehow don't look as skinny as I did in high school, um, but my legs were a lot bigger. So it's weird because I'm losing weight. When I lost weight naturally, I lost about 20 pounds and i don't remember where i lost it i think i lost it in my arms and my stomach with this surgery i'm losing weight everywhere not just in specific areas um i'm losing weight in my breasts my arms my legs my ass is gone um but my calves they still need a little work that was another thing i put on a pair of boots that i wore um a while back in like november i think and I couldn't put those boots on. They were too tight. I couldn't pull them up. Um, and now I have wiggle room in them and I wear them all the time. I love it so much. I also have a ton of energy. I am able, like I feel my endurance being a lot. I just feel, you can feel your body being a lot lighter. I have plantar fasciitis. I cannot say that. Plantar fasciitis, plantar, plantar, plant, plantar, plantar fasciitis. I'm still saying that wrong. I have plantar fasciitis and um, my heels hurt so bad all the time, especially on my left foot. It still hurts pretty bad. Um, the pain started coming back recently, um, I've noticed, but I went a good two months without having that pain, which is crazy because I was like, damn, it's because I was so heavy. Like your feet are putting so much weight on getting like weight on it. Like it's, it's insane. No wonder my feet were hurting so bad. Um, also, my feet have shrunk. I was a size nine and a half, pushing 10, 
and now I'm like a solid nine, eight and a half, depending on the make and model of the shoe. But I had told my mom that the other day, and I was like, my feet are shrunk. I didn't even know that could happen, but apparently it does. Your feet grow and they get smaller, and yeah. My hands, I remember my mom said, you'll know you're losing weight whenever the bone on your wrist starts to show. And then she was like, keep an eye out for that. And I was like, it is showing. I don't know if you can see it with the tattoo, but that little bone right there, she was like, once you see that, you'll know you're skinny. And I was like, cool, it's already there. Also, my collarbones started peeking out. Um, I'm not that skinny. It's just that my breasts are still heavy, so it pulls like the skin down, so the collarbone, collarbones show a little bit more. I think it looks amazing. I'm obsessed. Um, collarbones are like my favorite part of my body right now. <laughs> um, and my cheeks have gotten a lot smaller too. If you guys look at my other video, um, I think it was like my lipstick swatches or something like that. My face looks swollen and like I was like. <laughs> I'll insert a screenshot from that video um, here. Ew, bad. Um, you guys can also go check that video out because I get asked all the time what my lipstick combos are and they are all revealed in that video. Um, and you guys can also see how big I was. Uh, but yeah, the main workouts that I've been doing right now are cardio because I'm trying to shed this weight off. Um, but I'm slowly starting to do weights and lifting um, so that I can build more muscle. As I've been working out, I can definitely feel my muscle a lot quicker than I would whenever I would work out like for a week and be like super big. I couldn't feel any muscle coming through and I'd be very discouraged. But now that I can see results a lot quicker because I have the assistance of the VSG surgery, it's amazing. I, I go for runs. I forgot to mention that I started running. I never thought I would be a runner. I enjoy running. Like, I, I, girl, I have asthma, so I still can't breathe right. I'm still like, <sighs> but I am corriendo con el perrito in el parque, and I'm losing that weight. Um, so yeah, it does feel a lot better because you're a little bit lighter. You're able to do a little bit more. It's pretty cool. Um, I have been skating a lot more. I've just been a lot more active, and it just feels a lot better in general. So that's pretty much my update as of now as far as what I'm able to do was I wasn't able to do the first Pretty much the first month It's shit because you're getting used to it. You're getting used to eating You're torturing yourself because you're drinking so much liquid and you're like, oh, I want to chew on something But trust me it is all worth it. But yeah, my life has completely changed. My confidence has been boosted um the only downfall I'm seeing now is no ass and no hair, but that's something that I can live with. I can get a BBL and I can wear wigs, but you can't hide that fat forever, honey. Also, why would you want to live an unhealthy life? Like, I feel so much healthier now, even though I'm still nowhere near where I want to be, but my confidence is hella, my confidence is hot girl summer, 24 seven, all day, every day. I love it. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I hope it answers some questions. If you had any questions or if you're like, oh, is this happening to everyone or is it just me? Like, what's going on? Like, this is what has been happening to me in my three months. People experience this surgery completely different from each other, but there are similarities. So I hope this video helped you guys out if you did have questions or if you're just wanting to stalk me. I don't know. <laughs> But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll keep you guys updated on my journey and stay tuned for more videos. I did make a drinking video after VSG um, and since it's quarantine still, I'm gonna be making more videos. Woo! But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.